Dashbook allows us to import sales from sales file that you would receive from your uh, your distributors or uh, reseller and it can also create your products and even link up more information for that so I want to show you how we can use that ability you can create your own spreadsheet and that's what I did in this case where I just have an ISRC column that could be your ISBN column or SKU title column a retail or unit price list price column here the column name of uh, who is the artist that we may need to pay and since it's a sales report it would have the quantity sold maybe a net receipt so if we save that and then go into dashbook we can go and file database create a new database and we'll call this one import three because I've been playing around with it and it's going to ask products, music, it doesn't matter so much, but I'm going to choose music since I've used ISRC there. What I'm going to demonstrate here is the ability for our import of sales to automatically, automatically connect the royalty holder and royalty. So let's say the, we have a standard rate that almost all of our royalty holders use. Let's say it's 20%. Um, I'll be generous, 40%. So let's change to 40 percent now here this global royalty that means anytime there's a new uh, royalty holder it's going to automatically assume it's going to use that rate for new products new products created manually in the product screen where we have none right now or new pr pro products created during the import sales report so we're going to go to import sales report and we have a number of things like all these different Amazon and InGroove etc we're going to hit end and set up and create our own import map. So let's hit the plus and we're going to choose that file which was in your desktop. Start with an I, import demo. And you're going to see Dashbook is going to pull in that information. So you can see what Dashbook sees. That's the information from that spreadsheet. If I go into the sales, I'll be able to link up the fields these columns with fields in dashbook so we can say the ISRC is linked to that column again it could be some other unit uh, the product name is a good one to have the retail price dashbook calls it the list price and in this import map we just use the generic phrase author but um, you can connect that you know, as your artist or songwriter or whichever you want. This is a sales report, so we're going to have the sales quantity and an amount received, net received. And that's all. We can go ahead and select the default customer. We didn't create a customer, so let's do that. So this is our import for our sample import. We're going to save that. We're going to go here and create a customer. It doesn't matter really who that is. It could be InGroove, Amazon, it doesn't matter. But we need one for a sales report because that's going to create an order for us. And so that's what I'm demonstrating here. Um, so I call that one sample. So let's hit the S's and see what we have here. Okay. Sample import. I select that file. And that customer, I need an invoice date, which would be the last day of the month or quarter. And when I import, it's going to recognize that it does not recognize that product. That is not found. If Since I'm starting in new, it'll be easy to just say, just create everything. If I already had a large system built up, I wouldn't necessarily want to do that because there may be some issue I've got to resolve. It says it created these products. That's fine. And if we look at the product screen, we'll see not only did it create the products, but it also connected contributors and it connected that 40% royalty rate to them. So everything is set up now and if we were to look at this order that's the order that it created and if we close, apply that order then we can see in advance that we actually have royalties on this. So everything was done. Everything set up that's it. Very easy. Have a great day. Thank you.